Hi, Taurus. So our first card, our theme really of the week for this group is emerging. And if you think about the visualization of what emerging means, it's really quite powerful. Think of a, a baby chick hatching from the egg, ready to start a new life, ready to become a part of the world, to bring, um, again, emerging is to walk out onto a stage, it's to bring a sense of you out into the world. So when we feel that we're in a place to emerge, we may be emerging from a difficult time and we may have found peace and uh, you realize that you're now ready. You're ready to walk out into the light. You also may have a, uh, an important transition that perhaps you've completed a stage and now your emergence is taking you into a new direction, a new path, a new relationship, a new career, a new location. It's a sense of newness. It's a sense of feeling um, ready to greet the world in the present place that you are, that you're feeling. So everything that you've had before is swept up into who you are. And as you emerge, you bring that with you. So again, it's a powerful idea for the week that perhaps something is ending, perhaps something is changing ever so slightly, and it's going to open the path for you to emerge, to bring in a new experience, to feel like you are walking out into um, a new stage, uh, and ready to, you know, ready to take everything that the world's going to give you. Okay. So this says freedom. You are releasing any self-imposed restrictions or perceived limitations through the loving energy of openness. And talk about two words that really work well together, emerging and freedom. Freedom from a situation perhaps that did not serve you. Freedom to be who you are. Freedom to walk down the path that you had hoped that you would. And uh, I love this idea of releasing any self-imposed restrictions because that's often what we have in life is that we have our own fear and our own boundaries that we place and we let them keep us contained. And so to emerge is to break free. It's to find your freedom and to find your freedom in the best possible light, which is to, you know, seek your highest purpose, look for love, be around positive, you know, people that bring value to your life just because of their kind and generous and loving heart. Again, through the loving energy of openness, emergence, emerging and freedom coming from a place where something needed perhaps to break, where you could break through. Okay. So let me bring this up here. Time to go. The sun sets and rises each day, and it's the same with the avenues in your life. See the beauty within each sunset in your life and know that the sun will also rise again tomorrow. Endings are merely the start of a new beginning, and we are with you through each phase and cycle. So time to go. It really is for you time to end something that isn't working. It's time to place the priority on your emergence and on your freedom. Whether it's the freedom from a relationship that doesn't help you or make you feel joyful or from um, the obligations or the expectations of friends or family 
This is giving you permission and saying, time to go. And at least for this week, perhaps this is the awareness for you, that you think about things and you begin to set the stage ready for your own emergence. It's awareness and it's the, again, I love what they say about the sun sets, the sun rises every day. You know, every day we get a fresh start. Coupled with this sense of belief and of um, desire to have this new path or this new avenue is motivating. It's again, powerful. It leads you in a certain direction. So this card says emotional clearing. And again, I'm, I'm really amazed at how these cards uh, build upon each other, which is in order to find freedom and to let something end or make, make the decision that it's time to go, there has to be some emotional work uh, that you've had to do, either through meditation, contemplation, deep thought, discussions with people that you trust. Um, you have to do the underlying spiritual work of cleansing and clearing your heart of whatever was those, those fears that were keeping you constrained or keeping you restricted. Sometimes this can be painful. Sometimes this can be, uh, the emotional clearing can be like an emotional waterfall, but allow it to happen so that you can, um, emerge into a new path that is going to be the right path for you. And again, this week could be the initial understanding or thinking about this is what is happening in my life. I need to own it. I need to think about it. But very clearly, emotional clearing, freedom, an emergence, emergence, powerful world, word, excuse me, word to, uh, to keep you moving forward spiritually and in mind, body, spirit for yourself, the way that you should be moving forward. So beautiful cards for the week for this group. Okay. So this theme for the week for this set of the second cards purpose, a purpose driven life. And it's up to you and you alone, how you define your purpose. What is it that you want to do on your time, you know, on your time here on earth? Who do you want to be with? What kind of life do you want to lead? How do you want to serve others? So thinking about your purpose and often we think about our purpose when we feel that we're not achieving our purpose, when we're not uh, there yet. And so again, perhaps this week is an awareness for you to realize that, you know, I'm really not quite on the path that I should be. I'm not having that, that clear sense of loving, living purpose. What can I do to get myself back on that path? Or what can I do to bring that into my experience? Purpose, uh, you know, the universe wants us to live our highest self, our highest purpose. Everybody has wonderful qualities, talents, skills that should be flourishing while they're here and helping humanity in a sense. So think about your purpose and you, for those that have their purpose and are right there, that's wonderful. Continue to build emotionally, continue to build spiritually and to serve others. So another message we have for this group of cards this week is loyalty. Your reliability demonstrates your loving sense of devotion and consistency of being. I, I am drawn to the words consistency of being. That's the core of who we are. 
Are we kind every day? Are we generous? Are we loving? Are we open? Perhaps as being a ear for someone who's struggling, or are we closing that off? It's the consistency of being devoted to your core values, of the love that you have in your heart, the love that you have in your soul. And here, the loyalty, and again, I would see it as a loyalty to, you know, your core values and being authentic to who you are. A loving sense of devotion. You are devoted because of love, not because of obligation. So as you think about purpose, and as you think about loyalty this week, of how to um, continue to be your best self and being consistent. Again, it's not always easy to be consistent. Some days are, uh, you know, off the charts in a different way. But we get back to, we can get back to the consistency. You know, some days are tougher than others and we have to work and we have to think about being true and being loyal to our, our, our ideas, our values, and who we are at the very core. So another message we have for this set of cards, the heart chakra. Love is the heart of the matter. Your heart is the center within your physical being attuned most to love. It's safe for you to love and be loved with an open heart as we stand by with perfect protection and guidance. So everything emanates from our heart, from the love that we have. For some of you this week, perhaps this purpose is related to falling in love, building a relationship, that your hope is to be a mother or a father, to raise a family, to share your love with family. This heart chakra is saying to open the heart, allow the light and the love to come within. For others, perhaps you're in a different place or you're in a uh, relationship maybe where some love you feel has drifted off and maybe this is a week to reconnect or to try to find uh, the spirit that brought you two together in the first place or the feelings that did that. Um, most importantly is to be open, is to allow love into your life, is to not shut the door and not to close the wall around you, is to let the wall drop, let the wall fall down and have your heart open for whatever may come. And again, you never know if you're single who you meet, the people that you meet that can bring love into your life. Random opportunities that, uh, you know, the universe just kind of plops before you. So make the most of those opportunities. So we have the idea of you are ascending. Ascension of, again, reaching our highest purpose. Ascending to the spiritual plane that is full of love and light and centeredness and happiness and joyfulness. It's our, you know, why we're here is to seek fulfillment, to seek contentment, to find joy in life, to find love and joy for others. And so you are ascending, I think is, again, as a result is when you open your heart, when you are open to all, when you are thinking about your purpose in life, when you are uh, loyal to your core values, then ascension is the way your truest self, you have no regrets, you are in a present place of love, and again, the word keeps coming to mind is contentment. When we find our purpose, when we live our purpose, when we are authentic and loyal to our core values, 
really beautiful cards for this group as well, opening your heart. And then finally, this says psychic knowing. And again, I love the purple within the illustration, which is always symbolic of psychic abilities and psychic knowing. The word is used so frequently now. Everyone is a psychic. And you know what? That's really quite true. Everyone has intuitive abilities. Everyone has a sixth sense where you just get that nudge or that feeling. And often we can push it aside. We may not honor that feeling. But with psychic knowing, this is an opportunity for you to maybe sit and to reflect, to meditate, and to pay attention to the messages that come throughout the day, throughout the week. What messages are coming into you or certain things that people say? Perhaps there's a sense of deja vu. Uh, maybe it's uh, numbers that keep appearing. And it strikes you and it's like, huh, that's funny. Wow. That's interesting that that bird showed up on my ledge. I was just thinking about that. So psychic knowing is really being aware and not um, setting aside or disregarding some of those thoughts. Trust your intuition. Trust your gut. Trust your inner guide. Like everyone is a psychic. There is no special, um, special feat that uh, someone has and that you don't have. It's just a matter of waking it up, being aware of it, and perhaps um, working through your ability to really put things together to make sense of events, words, places things that happen that are somehow connected. Okay, so another idea for the week, we have creativity. You love to devise new ideas, innovations, and forms of illumination. Being creative, uh, taking a chance, thinking in a new way, um, building with your hands, perhaps through art, through molding, through shaping, through sewing, through dance. This creativity really feeds our soul. And it adds such a wonderful part to life is to have the creativity fill a piece within, within your being. And the very important idea of and forms of illumination, of how to bring light into the world of how to share your light when you are creative, when you share your song or your play or your novel or your short story, whatever it may be, your YouTube video of your trip, you are giving a sense of you and your light. So a simple practice for this week is to think about the creativity within your life. Are you working so hard uh, at your nine to five job or whatever job that is that you're too tired to feel creative at the end of the day? Um, are you uh, just kind of in a busy, chaotic place where you're not creative? I think that this is telling you to make some time to be creative, whether you're writing in a journal, drawing in a journal, doodling, do something that is new for you, do something that is um, making you feel that I would say the sense of joy, like when you're a child and you're, and you're finger painting, of just letting the feelings take, take, them, take you where it will. So this week, do something creative, you know, sew that quilt or create a beautiful garden, whatever it may be. The creation is what you bring to it, of, of how you lead it, shape it, and build it. So 
So this says, go for it. Your prayers and positive expectations have been heard and answered. We've been working with you on this situation since its genesis, and we continue to watch over you and everyone involved. Stay on your present path as it will take you very far indeed. So for some of you that chose your third set of cards, this is a very sp specific, direct message to you that if you've had something on your mind, this is telling you to go for it. The time is now, it's ready. Perhaps it's related to your creativity. Perhaps you've had that intuitive feeling that yes, it is the time. I need to do this. You know, I need to join that band, that rock band and sing my song. Or I need to get on stage and do my comedy routine. Whatever it may be, this is saying, don't hold back. The time is now for you to go for it. Very direct, again, as I see this, very direct and simple message, which is to take everything within your life, your creativity, your intuitive feelings, and messages from divine source, from the universe, to get out there and make it happen. It's really up to you. So then we have the word and the idea of synchronicity. And synchronicity is not just a song on one of the early police albums. That's a dated reference for those that listen to the Sting's band, the, the police way back when. So synchronicity is when really all things come together at the right time. And this week could be the genesis. We saw that word within one of the cards. It could be the genesis for pulling together your creative uh, aspirations, your hope, your desire from within to go for it, and the psychic message of pay attention to what your, your hunches are telling you. Now's the time that everything is aligning just right for you. So synchronicity, I think of the cylinders firing at the right time, just in a beautiful motion that it, and it propels you to where you're going to, uh, to go. So we really get a sense, an idea here of creativity, of trusting oneself and getting out there and doing, doing it. Here's where we really think about purpose and opening our heart. And this is about freedom of emerging onto a new stage, into allowing things to end so that you can clear for a beautiful new path. So my friends, this is what I have for you for the week. And I hope that the cards that you chose really helped in some way. And if you found this reading helpful, please subscribe, share, like this video, leave me a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. I wish you a wonderful week ahead of love, abundance, peace, and happiness. And until the next time, take care. Bye-bye.